Blood, brother. Who this is? Ah! Literally bubbling up. Go, Marco, go! Morning, guys. Is it still morning? Yeah, what's wrong? Got you before morning ended. Oh, yeah. Blur, brother. Blur. Blur. I look bare orange, yo. Because you're Oompa Loompa. Oh, yeah. Thanks for letting everyone laugh at my TikTok situation. Punk. Yeah, if you guys haven't seen the TikTok we made, no, it's on TikTok. Go check it out. It's so funny. Bare views, though. I'm not going to lie. That's what yeah. makes me TikTok famous. No problem. That was your introduction to my TikTok. <laughs> Guys, I woke up today and had a cake order, so I quickly did that before I started vlogging because priorities. This is a cake that I made, so this is my attempt. Malib, don't forget to insert it right here because I always forget to insert. But this is a cake I made. It was simple. It was yummy, tasty, delectable, and full of goodness. These are the kind of cakes that I prefer to eat, but I love to create like the custom cakes that I create. I made that this morning, and now we're gonna have a first of the day at 12 o'clock. I also clean the bins as you can tell he's putting it back he put it backwards by the way the foot pedals are against the wall now your majesty we're gonna make breakfast now what's guys i'm so what's sad uh, look only a 65 pound jumper that she doesn't clearly treat well what's that what happened there <laughs> what's uh, that one <laughs> I was putting uh, some foundation on my face and a stupid speck. You know when you're pumping the pump and then it. So, like that one splash. <laughs> then the one speck of foundation splattered over here. And then I tried to clean it and then I made a bigger mess. So, let's just ignore this right here. I'm just gonna talk like this for the rest of the vlog now. All right, so I'm gonna make this thing I saw on TikTok. I made it the other day and it was so bomb. So it's basically you take the your wrap and you cut it halfway and then you basically fold it into like four pieces and it's so good. I made it the other day with eggs, bacon, cheese, and tomatoes, but I don't have any healthy bacon left. So I'll make it with everything else. Plus I'll see if I can find a substitute. But I'm gonna make that for breakfast. What are you having? All four eggs. He's having the classic. So let's get to cooking. So sad. I was trying to see how long I can go without having to wash this hoodie, but. All right guys, so I'm gonna use a tomato. I'm gonna use like three pieces, slices from this tomato. I'm gonna use, uh, I'm gonna do two eggs and I'm gonna do some ham, like two slices of ham. And then I'm gonna do this lacto-free cheddar mature shredded cheese on it. Get some mac protein in there, get some vegetables of this thing, get some carbs, get some healthy fats, and we're good to go. Marco, look how cool this is. Look, the barcode is like grass. What the heck? Guys, look how cool this is, the barcode. It looks like grass. That's so cool. That is cool. All right, so I'm gonna have some cheese while the eggs are cooking. So first, I made a slit that goes halfway through, so it goes from here to here. And I'm gonna add cheese to one of the quadrants. Then I'm gonna add three tomato slices to the other quadrant. <laughs> what are you looking at, Baba? What's my leaf doing? It's my quadrant. Where's the ham? Where's my, where's my mug? I'm gonna add some ham. I don't know why I'm talking so loud. I'm gonna add my, I might, I don't think it's gonna fit, man. One, two. Yo, I think this is gonna, this is gonna pop in here. All right, put a little bit more oil in here. That's what it looks like so far. Oh, and no. now, this is how I'm gonna fold it. What'd you do? Oh, oh wait, ketchup. I don't know which one. Which... All right, so you're gonna fold it. Let's do it down. Down again. All right, and then fold it this way. And fold it. Oh, it's gonna be a hard one. Fold it again that way. This is what we're looking at, and I'm gonna fry it. Get a sizzle? Why is it loud? I don't know, man. It's like talking to someone in India. You're gonna leave it on this side for about 15 minutes. No, for about two minutes. Yes, for about two minutes. All right, so I've calculated on my phone on what's the 
what's it called on uh, my fitness pal and this whole thing right here oh no i didn't put the wrap in so this whole meal this breakfast that's gonna be so amazing is only 465 calories it's satisfying it's tasty it fills you up what else does it do nourishing it's nourishing it's like a it's like eating a hug no that's a hug in a mug that's a cup of tea Oh, there you have it, yo. Look, look, look at that. It's not hot right now, so it's like all toasty, toasty. The cheese is nice and melted. And when you get to the center, that's when the good stuff comes in. Now let's feast like kings. <laughs> all right, guys. So I'm gonna try taking off uh, the gel on my nails because remember I just cut them off a couple. Of, wow, so close. So um, I just cut off the tips a couple days ago, but then I ordered this thingy to remove the gel, magic gel remover, and I'm gonna see if it works. It basically says, buff shiny top layer, apply remover on nails, leave on for a few minutes, and then push loose product. Wash hands. So I'm probably gonna have to repeat because I have acrylic and gel, so I have to break through the layers. So I'm just gonna do that. Hopefully it works because this one came off, which was the main reason why I cut it off because it was like hurting and I didn't want to hurt, so I just cut off all the tips. But yeah, I'm gonna do this now and see how it goes. All right guys, look, so it's literally bubbling up. There, I think you can see, look, so it's literally all bubbling up. So I'm gonna scrape this off. This one I don't have a nail on, because it fell off, but I'm gonna scrape this off, and then I'll probably do another, and I'll keep going until it's done. So hopefully, so far it's good. Like, look at this one, it's like peeled off, which is pretty fire. Let's continue. All right guys, so two hours later, I'm finally done. Ta-da, they're mad cute. It's a whole different vibe. Manko! Do you like bananas? You're a bit cute, man. A bit tiny now. You have beautiful hands. Thanks, kind sir. Uh, you're welcome, man. But so with the nail polish, the this one, the my gel. If you have just shellac, this will work like wonders. Like it'll Yeah, so if you have just shellac, bomb.com it'll work perfectly, really quickly. Let's say like 15, 20 minutes, I would say. But because I had shellac on top of acrylic, it did take some time, but there was no pain. So make sure when you do it, right, put it towards, make sure you get the edges of the nail as well, like the acrylic nail. So then that way, like I use like a nail cutter, grip onto it and kind of like lift it up and start cutting off little pieces. And literally just lift it up right away. And I left this on my nails for 20 minutes and then I started doing it. So when I was doing one nail, the other nail was sitting in that for even longer. So then that one was even easier. So there's a little bit of pulling and tugging but not crazy amount obviously like what other option is there at home it was really easy compared to when I did it last time without any of this stuff so I liked it I think it was good it did take time obviously but yeah they're mad cute didn't tear off any of my nails nothing the bottom nails were still the actual length I just cut them down now because they're all different so yeah go Manku go go Manku go yeah that's right let's get it All right, let's go so basically we have a minute break. These guys are just lifting weights. <sighs> we just finished working out about like an hour ago now. But guys, this, I don't even know if I should show you. This is the best invention of all time. And let me tell you why. Do you guys remember that chocolate bar? It still exists. It's called Crunch, I believe. England people might not know, but you Canadians know. I'll insert a picture of it right here. And then there was a gym named after it. But you know that Crunch chocolate bar? So imagine that. And then you know mini M&Ms? And then imagine that. And then imagine it all combined into one. I kid you not. This crispy m and m If you guys are ever to give me anything in life, Give me this. This is, this is so good. All right, so I'm not even gonna deny, I had like a whole bar of that chocolate, like the, the four at the top, which is fine. That's how you eat chocolate in moderation, right? But it's just sitting there. My goal is not to eat the rest or any more today, but we'll see how the day goes. I'm about to do inventory of the kitchen. We're gonna go go shopping tomorrow 
and I cannot go buy groceries unless I have a list because I hate buying extra food. I hate food going to waste. So, and then I hate over clustered kitchens. So I'm gonna make a list of what we need and then write it down. And in the meantime, I created a cake a couple weeks ago. It's based on a UK show, a very, very popular UK show. It's called Only Fools and Horses, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong, I could be totally wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's called Only Fools and Horses. But I made a cake of the car and then the three characters and I recorded it but I haven't posted it because I forgot I recorded it. I was so tired. I'm gonna play that footage for you guys now while I do this inventory. So I hope you guys like it and enjoy it. And leave a comment down below if you know what show this is and if there's something that you want me to know about the show. So I would love to read it because I've never watched it. I just literally created the cake off of like inspo pictures of the characters in the car and stuff like that. So yes, I hope you guys enjoy that because it was a mission to make and it turned out really, really cute.
All right, guys, so this is the last cake for the weekend. For all of you who don't know, this is based on a UK show. It's called Only Fools and Horses, I believe. Uh, the UK people out here know what this is and will know exactly what this cake is. But for someone like myself, I had to do research because I had absolutely no idea. So this is how it turned out. It's Apparently, this is like their car or van or something. And then it's the three main characters. I still don't know their names fully, but all I know is that's the grandpa, and then there's like the two, the two man dems. You know what I mean? All right, man. And that's finally a wrap. What is that? That doesn't look like the chocolate bar. Oh, should we just tell him what you've done? What is that? That doesn't look like the ultimate chocolate. Don't waste my chocolate. Get that out of here. This is the greatest chocolate combination of all time. This is the one. Leave him! Get oh, the side that's me and you. That's me and you. <laughs> you actually want us to break. Take it out of there. That's better. It looks like you. Right, Bunko? Alright guys, so a few things because I know you're gonna ask. I used, once again, this thing to help me remove my gel. And then I did washing of the hands. And then I did cuticle oil. And once that absorbed into my skin and my nails and stuff, I basically... No, nope, scratch that. I did this process, and once the the acrylic and gel was off, then I used this thing to buff out my nails and like smooth any like rough areas or whatever, and just like shine it. And then after that, I did the cuticle oil, and then when that was fully absorbed into my my cuticles and my nail, then obviously I washed my hands, and then I went in with this color. It is what color is this? It's by Essie, and it's the color oh right here on top it's the color 139 called matter of fiction and then i did two coats of that because if you do a heavy coat at once then it takes forever to dry so i did about two coats of that and then i went over with a matte top coat i wanted to do the shellac but i'm still waiting for the base and the top coat polish to come because i can't do it without that so i just did this in the meantime because I felt like it was cute, so that's what I did. And is there anything else that you guys are gonna ask me? I don't know, but there is. If there's anything else you guys want to ask, leave a comment down below. I'm usually really good with responding to comments now, so leave any questions down below. And uh, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to always stay gold, and I'll see you on Thursday. You can bet your dollar on me. Diamonds will be everything you want and you need. You got me going up and above. I can't get enough. It's like you put a spell on me. If you really about it, then I'm about it for sure. Yeah, you know I'm different than the ones before. Ain't nobody gotta know we can keep it on the low. You're the one I've been looking for.